Hey there, this is Ilze B. I teach Latvian for English speakers. Sveiki studenti! Šeit jūsu skolotāja. Let's summarize and move further. The first video was about listening and memorizing sounds and words just by hearing them. That was competency one. And it also was about trying to repeat what's been said in Latvian, paying attention to the rhythm of the speech and to the speaker's intonation. The second video was about reading and pronouncing words correctly. That was competency number three. And it was also about reading and understanding structures, such as detecting which words are nouns, which are verbs, etc. I mentioned that I have created an online language course where I teach exactly this. But in this third video, I will talk about two more competences. So let's dive in. Competency number five is ability to speak in sentences. It is a good idea to learn words in phrases, at the beginning in short phrases or even in short dialogues. Let's imagine the following scenario. You are on a train going through Alaska. It is cold outside, but it is warm inside. And now imagine another scene. On the road in Alaska, there's a man who is trying to stop a car, but nobody stops for him. You see it all through the window of your train. That man must have a problem, you think, and you call the help service. You ask the help service to help the old man. Let's just imagine that the man is really old. Learning help phrases in another language is quite useful. So when the operator answers, this is the phrase that you may say asking for help for somebody else. Palīdziet vecajam vīram. Did you notice the rhythm of that sentence? It's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Palīdziet vecajam vīram. Palīdziet vecajam vīram. Palīdziet vecajam vīram. However, it is important to understand that in Latvian a word can look very differently if it is outside that phrase. But now watch this. If we type in the dictionary, the old man. Look what we've got. Vecais vīrs. Was that how we said, help the old man? Even if you don't remember how we said it exactly, you probably remember the rhythm. It was one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And the last two words were one, two, three, one, two. Here the dictionary gave us the word combination vecais vīrs, which would be one, two, one. The difference was the endings of words, because words have different endings outside the phrase, and they have different endings when they are in combination with the word help. That is why I teach about how endings of words change in my course Latvian for English speakers. Competency number six is writing. Many Latvians in the United States and elsewhere outside of Latvia can speak Latvian, but they cannot write in Latvian. And for you, as an English speaker, it is important to learn to write. It is not that difficult to learn writing dictations in Latvian if you have memorized how each letter is pronounced. What you need to do is practice listening and hearing what sounds are pronounced and then putting them down. The most difficult part might be 
to distinguish when to write c and when to write s. I have noticed that c is the most difficult sound for English speakers in Latvian. To help you out a little bit, I will tell you that the letter C very seldom finishes words. The two words that I'm going to show you are frequently used words where C is at the end. This first word is kāpēc and it means why, and the second word is tāpēc and it means because or therefore. But this is the point at which I would like to end my three-part video series. If you like my lessons, give me thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss my new releases. Goodbye! Uz redzēšanos!